So I've spent the last hour and a half in the subway and buses to get here to New Jersey, but I think it was worth it just for this view. I wanted to be here earlier, but it is what it is. I'm still grateful to be here. It's beautiful. The weather is not exactly what I was hoping for. I was hoping for more clouds. It's supposed to be an overcast day that would help me simplify the background. But of course, I'm taking long exposures to do that. I'm starting with uh, two minutes and see how that goes. I might have to combine a few of those two minute long exposures into one because my idea is to create an image of the skyline showing just the silhouettes of the buildings, black or very dark buildings against a brighter background. That's my idea. That's why I came here for sunrise. I'm gonna keep working on this uh, image, gonna be recording some videos. Uh, yeah, I just came to New Jersey for only for this image, so I hope it works out. As I said, I would have preferred to have had an overcast day or no clouds at all, but it's partly cloudy. I don't think you can see it now. Even though I'm going as long as uh, four minutes now, the clouds are still there, visible, of course, blurry with movement. It's kind of cool, not exactly what I wanted, what I had in mind for here. Now I'm trying an eight minute long exposure, so that should help a little bit more. I'm liking the results, it's just not exactly what I wanted, but my weather app says that it's going to get cloudier, that it's going to be overcast in a couple hours, so I'm going to stick around here. I've already made the trip here to New Jersey anyway. I'm just going to walk along this boardwalk, probably stop for a coffee and look for other spots around here. Not of this view necessarily, because I don't think it really matters. I wanted to capture and unobstructed view of the skyline so it doesn't really matter where I position myself I'm gonna get more or less the same I'm gonna use this trip and this image that I'm making today to illustrate a point that I wanted to share with you today and is that this that I'm doing right now that is taking the shot it's in my opinion I believe the easiest step in the process is the easiest part of photography and I want to argue that also the least important uh, part of photography I've been here for almost five hours now. The conditions keep changing and even though it's very sunny now again, it was uh, much cloudier just a few minutes ago. And I actually think I got a 
a few shots that are very close to to what I wanted, to what I was expecting when I came here. I'm happy with the results uh, I've got. I still have to look at them on the computer, of course. I hope they've worked out. But I think all the effort, time and money invested to come here was worth it. These images were not made here right now, though. These images are the result of a long process. Yeah, there are some big waves now. I got very wet earlier on the camera. I got wet too. These images are the result of a long process that I started yesterday when I was in Brooklyn and I was making the images of the uh, skyline or try to. Uh, I didn't love those images because the buildings were being lit up by the sun. Brooklyn is facing or that part of the skyline is facing east. Also, I didn't like that much that part of the skyline. It didn't feel like New York to me. So I knew I had to find another spot and different conditions to make the that image happened. I did a little bit of research but most websites recommend the, the east side for skyline views like the Roosevelt Island or Queens or Brooklyn itself but the other day when we were driving to New York I got a glimpse of the skyline from this side uh, from the other side of the Hudson River and I thought that it would be a much better spot for me to the, for the image that I wanted to make. So I looked for good locations on this side of the river on Google Maps. I found this boardwalk that looked pretty nice. I used the street view too so I kind of knew what to expect and I knew that I would find a spot uh, to make images from here. Then I had to figure out which subway to take and which bus to take. All of that means that I was able to be here at the right place at the right moment because the conditions were not ideal but I have a very limited time in the city so I don't have an option I just had to come here. The settings I'm using, the camera gear I'm using are completely secondary and they don't matter that much. I'm using a five to six year old APS-C camera with a very cheap lens. This whole package right here is like 500 bucks. I'm stepping the lens down all the way to f22 and that is a big no-no in landscape photography because you know you lose detail and you, 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 you can't do that. I believe that if you are at the right time and the right place you can use whatever camera you got on you and you're gonna make a great fantastic image. Having a full frame medium format camera here with a much better lens and using the right aperture or whatever wouldn't have made this image that much better. I believe that the idea and the effort and the time that you spend to make that idea happen are way more important than the settings and the camera. Alright, so it's the next day. We are in Brooklyn. We came to the Brooklyn Bridge for sunrise, not because the images could be any better than I think they were, but also because there were uh, fewer people. So I was at the Brooklyn Bridge a couple days ago, but it was during the day. And this is just another example of uh, how it doesn't matter if at that day I had the best camera in the world with the best lens or the best settings or whatever, it wouldn't have mattered because it was full of people, the weather was less than ideal 
and today this morning where there were just a few people running a few people taking pictures even if i only had my phone the pictures would have been much better okay it's too loud here for me photography is a process that consists of four basic steps that is planning the shot taking the shot editing or post-processing the shot and the fourth step is delivering the shot that could be a print uh, digital file or whatever now every photographer is different some photographers enjoy more some steps the steps of the process and some photographers enjoy more other steps of the process and that is completely normal some people really like to plan their trips their shots to the t and they follow a very strict plan and they follow a schedule everything they they, they need to know what they are doing some people really enjoy the taking the shot part of it setting up the camera adjusting the settings metering the scene some people enjoy editing Editing in the dark room or in the computer and making that image a reality and of course uh, the final process that is making a print or a, or delivering a digital file whatever it is is enjoyed by other people as well the point that I want to make here is that somehow there is this idea that the most important step of the four is taking the shot and I want to argue that taking the shot is actually the least important step of the process this is my opinion of course everything that I say in this channel is just my opinion it's just my truth I don't want to impose or uh, make this sound like it's uh, preachy or anything like that but I think that most people focus on that step two that is taking the shot because it's the easiest one Planning a shot, having the idea about what we want to do, what, why we want to do it, that is hard. Working on the negative or the digital file and creating that image that we had in mind when we started planning, that is not easy either. Once you are at the right place at the right moment because you had planned all of that, because you had that idea, because you have the image in mind, what's left to do is just to place the camera and press the button. And I agree, that's very enjoyable and sometimes using certain cameras is very enjoyable as well. But we need to be aware that that is the easy part of photography. And maybe we should invest more time and money on the other three steps. I wanted to talk about this now because I've been working on those images and I'm putting a lot of time on editing those images and I know that some people out there don't like that because they think that whatever comes straight out of camera should be the final image and I completely disagree with that. I respect that opinion, I completely disagree and I think that editing is just one more step of the process uh, combined with the planning and taking the shot of course, the shot that you need to create the image afterwards. Everything is, uh, is a whole process that is called photography. 